Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to keep telling the other friends. It's helping the algorithm. Hey man, what's up? Hey man, just wanted to let you know that the algorithm is really, really helping. Like a lot. That's that's so cool. Right man. Talk later. Yes, yeah, sure man. Bye. To another real talk reaction this one right here is for only murders in the building season one episode number eight don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell as well you know the drill tell a friend to tell a friend it only helps the algorithm thank you all right a couple comments from the last episode starting with executive producer jeremy who says i really like this episode i was looking forward to your reaction for this one i always like seeing reactions to shows when they take creative risk like this one or like mythic quest a dark quiet death i really liked how they did this episode allowing us to get uh, Theo's perspective and also giving us a lot of information while still leaving a little more for us to learn. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you both enjoyed this episode. I look forward to the next one. Yeah. Then executive producer Del Guy says, yes, Amy Ryan, the woman uh, Steve Martin is seeing on this show, was also on The Office. Yep. And then last comments from Terry who says, question, can you have a humorous episode of com comedy television without any spoken dialogue at all? No, you can't. But you can have a very clever magic magically impactful and completely meaningful meaningful one with an accidental push off the roof backstory and criminal operation subtext we did it ah ha 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 yeah <laughs> okay did. charles did blow it up in the end but follow up can you have an entertaining and insightful reaction to this inventive no dialogue show chapter oh most definitely guys this is this is a great if quiet at moments rea i don't know what that stands for Reaction with your appreciation for secret passages, sexy scrabble, blackmailed silence, found passwords, and an ever thickening plot. Hey, yeah, thanks, Terry. It, yeah. <laughs> great comments. That was a good episode. Yeah, great comments as always. Let's jump into episode eight right now. The actor who played Brazos has his own podcast now. What? My name is in Fallon's mouth. Wow. You've got more coming, right? Someone left that for me at the front desk. It's Tim Cohn's phone. Whoa! Tim thought he was going to get murdered. You've been trying to take down this black market jewelry dealer named Angel. Say hello to Angel. Teddy Demas? I'm writing you a check, and it's going to be large. That's right. Our prime sponsor is now our prime suspect. Hey, where'd you get that? Why was Tim after the ring of Zoe half a night she died? No, she didn't have it, not when she died. About our jewelry snatching. What does it mean to be a fan of something? For me, it means undying absolute loyalty. Being a fan is like being married. You don't quit, no matter how bad it gets. That's how I feel about the Only Murders podcast. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's been another week without a new episode. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing up there? Oh, no, they no, just no. put silent. Watch the language around Grant. What do I fucking care? Guys, what if you see Bunny? <laughs> or Howard the Cat Guy? Or Charles, Oliver, Mabel? I don't know what I do. I don't want to leave this spot until they reveal who killed Tim Cono! Calm down. Oh, we know that other guy. He's he's first first of we call ourselves the Art Comics. We met on a message board, the, 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 the Itty Bitty Omit the, Bitty the, Committee, the, which I found it. Yeah, Ever since stuff. Fallon, Omit B has been having a moment, but we are the day oneers. Some fans are Maybellines, some are Hayden Maidens, a few, like me, are Putnuts. <laughs> Oliver's my favorite. I've been a member of six different true crime podcast fan communities. But I have never lost faith in a creative team when I do right now. And what about that Sting cameo? Like Sting's gonna be the murderer. A whole episode with no stakes. Okay, guys, why are you being so negative? Do you even like this podcast? Love it. It's a revelation. It's a revelation. The team, okay? You want stakes? You're gonna get stakes. They're probably right around the corner. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't drop a final episode.
episode. By morning, saying that if he did nothing, he's going to drop a few bullets in our skulls. Teddy Demas doesn't know what we know, and we know a lot more now. Boy, what do we know? Jan and I spent the morning going through Tim Kono's phone, and we made a ton of secret discoveries. Let's just say it sends our investigation into a whole our? new direction. <laughs> Isn't she a natural? Mm. Tim was a meticulous record keeper. There are notes and photos in here. There's scans of receipts and newspaper clippings. To so putting them all together, we found out why he was after the Demises. He saw Teddy's son, Theo, push a girl from the roof here at the Arconia almost 10 years ago. It was Theo that Tim saw. Teddy threatened Tim to keep him quiet, but he said murder. Okay, I heard murder, but what the fuck else with the rest of that? Well, it's a uh, police officer. Mighty time, baby. <laughs> no. What? We are part of a concern mm -hmm. that has reason to believe Tim Kona was murdered by the Demas family. The Delhi people? Delis, but also crime. Based on the evidence we found on Tim's phone. Uh -huh. How did you get that phone? Oh, you shh. shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Maybe whoever did that still has some lingering questions about Tim's death and is up against enormous obstacles and was hoping you could help them by releasing a podcast episode with all your evidence. So it was you. If we make that episode. You don't want to be sitting ducks. I got you. I'm low key running a tox report and fingerprint scan off the laptop someone typed Kono's goodbye on. The rest is on you. Thank you so much. And I am so, so sorry about the things that Charles and Mabel said about you in episode one and two. Some of three. Okay, so let's just make sure we keep this tight, okay? Especially if you're. Oh, we have to visualize. I'm a visualizer. Mark, Mark. I need you to visualize the death sign. I'm sorry, No, no, don't, 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 don't ever do that again. Colette, you are the doorman, Lester. Psych. Okay. And you, Sam, you're Tim Kono. <laughs> Dead. Well, literally. Dead. Dead. Literally. He is dead, <laughs> the day of the month. Ah, oh, yay. Tim Kono enters the Arconia and action. Hello, Lester. What a normal afternoon. No, no, pointy. He's a very pointy delivery. Isn't that right, Mabel? Pointy? Well, that's just, that's just five. Hello, Lester. Did I happen to receive a package with a ring in it? No, not today, Mr. Kono. Okay, so Tim enters his apartment, and then fire alarms. What? 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 So then, uh, he opens his door, and Theo Demas pushes his way in. No, 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 too, too, too rough, too rough, Mark. I'm a killer. We're just marking, Marv! Coco! Coco! Okay, they fight. Theo wants to protect his dad from Tim exposing all his father's crimes. He punches him in the stomach. Oh, same way, you know, that, that the ox punch in the stomach of the dog. You know, oh, same way. To gasp for air. Ooh. And then a pistol goes in his mouth. Oh. We'll work on that. And finally, remember what Detective Williams said about the fingerprints? Theo types the suicide message. And that's how it all went down, what do you think? Kind of a confusing theory. Oh, please, you're in the love days. It's airtight. You're in the love it's days. How? So we have to get the recording equipment. I don't know, you guys. Don't you think it feels a little too easy? I, mean, I take another look at Howard. Tim did not die because of a cat, Jan. He died because of jewels and a ring. And if we're going to do this, we're going to do it now or never. It's 5.30 in the morning, and we all know how you need a few takes before you're warmed up. Uh, uh, Jan, we kind of worked on this as a team together. And I'm not on the team. Well, I wouldn't put it like that. Oh, I would, because your input is destructive and your pizza rolls are chewy. Now, normally, I could forgive one of those things, but not both. You ate six of those pizza rolls, and they're starting to show. I beg of you, please, exit. A while exit. No, no, you have great ideas. You can't be like that, though. No. So you're totally helpful, man. Trying to be. Yeah. She's definitely not. Okay, we need to start recording this now. Sam, anytime you can get up.
Are we sure, sure about this? We've taken a lot of money from Teddy Demas. I just want to be sure, sure, sure. concludes the final episode of Only Murders in the Building. We'll be back in the unlikely event another neighbor is murdered or we move to a more dangerous area. I'm your host, Charles Hayden Savage. Charles Hayden Savage. There it is. We're done. Oh, okay. Did you really like it? I feel like I just watched Prince record Purple Rain. Oh, you <laughs> really did. Now it comes to Delhi King. Make sure your friends listen. Go spread the word. Yes. And find some other interests. It's a big, wide world out there. Yes. Congratulations. Well, yes. We love you guys. Yes. Oh, love you. Love you. I'd love to talk merch. No, no. I actually do have a job. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm believe you. Super fan. <laughs> Actually, yeah, okay. Before we send this, <laughs> yeah, no, we need to show somebody a sneak preview. Mm, no. Tim Kono had stumbled upon Teddy Demas' side business of grave robbing jewels from the dead. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They straight up did No, <laughs> and I'm genuinely impressed. You nailed them. <clears throat> Fully nailed them. Teddy Demas is in a world of trouble for the Cassidy death, that grave robbing insanity, and now this? So we should be thankful that this mystery did have a tidy ending. The Demases did it. Case closed. Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck, man. What is it? Is that a good chip, fuck, fuck? Tox reports back. Tim Kono was poisoned. He was already dead when he was shot. And one of the neighbors on two had the ring camera pointed at the courtyard. Man, I'm sitting here looking at timestamp photos from that night of the Demises outside before the fire alarm even went off. They weren't even in the building when Tim was killed. Oh, gosh. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Guys, I hate saying this, but, uh, there may still be a murder in the building. Wait. What do you mean? You mean my girlfriend was right? Wait, you got a girlfriend? Nobody ever listens to me or Jan. He's just in the love days. He's he, is, he is in the love days. He's in the love days. episode eight of only murders and man that was a good episode right there um yeah okay so it makes sense now they did drop the hint uh a couple of times in this episode that it could be somebody else or extra people in there so now okay it made sense that it was because yeah it did end off a little too easy that that happened i mean when jan started saying that um there could have been somebody else who who did the actual murder you could start thinking okay now the, the the greatest thing is going to be at the end of all the shit that we missed already. Because obviously now, there's somebody else who wanted to kill Kono. Other than the Demises. Which I don't even think the Demises wanted to kill him. I think it was just like, we want you to just stop. Or, or whatever. It was just two different things going on on there. But it, it's beautifully done. This episode was great. They even had the third wall knocked down with the fans coming through. They were great. Uh, I can't remember the, the, the little one's name, the, the kid, the younger one that was uh, one of the fans, but he's always hilarious when we see him doing his little stand-up. Um, I mean, Martin Short was killing me in this episode, for real, as he always does. 
Um, it was just all around good. Good story. Yeah, there was some stakes on here too that happened. So we got one part over and now it's time for the big twisty twist uh, coming in of who done that and who done what. And I hope it's just really good. It looks like it's going to be a really good payoff and I'm here for all that. Um, yeah, so I totally agree. It's exciting that it's a 10 episode season, so we only have two episodes left. So I feel like the last two are going to be just like twists and turns and mind blown, and I'm here yeah. for all of it. It makes sense to, um, obviously, now with the information that the poisoning, because somebody tried to poison Oliver's dog too, so like that, that was the same tactic he used. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm here for all of that. To me, the uh, the adding the fan the fans into this episode was one of my favorite things of the season so <laughs> far, and that's saying a lot because I loved everything. But I loved uh, the interaction between the fans and uh, our our squad. I thought that was great. And to me, yeah, I think Ollie. Uh, Martin gets like the MVP award because I thought he was just freaking hilarious this entire episode. He was so like all of his lines, everything he was saying just had me die. His reaction to the fans and then him trying to be the bigger person, be like, yeah. we have fans. Like all of all of him was like every it was gold to me this whole episode. So I absolutely love that. I thought the one especially who plays uh, Kodo, the one that had to act as Kodo, I thought he he was my favorite fan. I mean, yeah. the other guy too, though the the creepy ass. I can't go to my daughter's no, no, wedding. Yeah, yeah. That it was. All they're was all good. such great, unique characters, and they write them so well to make them all. So you can introduce somebody for one episode, and you're like, I love them. I hope we get to see them again, yeah. and that speaks a lot to the writing of the show. Um, but I loved everything about this episode. I'm super excited that it's not all tied up neatly, that we have two more episodes to explore what really happened. So mm -hmm. I'm here for it. Can't wait for the next episode. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Only Murders in the Building, Season 1, Episode 8. And until next time, people, peace.